Namaste everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Madhura Bhagwat and today we will be flowing through a quick 30 minute full body vinyasa flow class. Some of the postures or practices in today's flow might seem a little advanced or intermediate. However, always know that you can modify your practice by using a couple of blocks and maybe a strap handy to make anything more accessible and suitable to your needs. So don't feel intimidated just by certain practices. Feel free to always modify them. Let's begin by coming on to our force. Coming into Marjarasana, you want to work on opening your fingers really wide, keeping shoulder width distance between your palms and hip width distance between your knees. And from here, inhale, slowly begin to drop your abdomen to lift your chest and chin, arching into your spine. Exhaling to curl into your spine, chin to your chest. Inhaling to arch. Exhaling to curl, starting to wake up your spine here. Inhale. Exhaling to curl. Inhale, you draw back to neutral spine. And this time you take your right palm behind your head. Inhale to open your right elbow towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, you move into your twist, drawing your right elbow to your left wrist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lift. Exhale to twist. Inhale, slowly begin to lift up. Now straightening out your hand, this time you thread the needle, dropping your right ear towards the mat. Option to take your left hand over your head or you could wrap it around your waist. Inhale and exhale here. Inhale, slowly release your left hand on top. Exhale, place it onto your mat. Inhale, right hand lifts. And this time, you turn your left toes towards the side to open your right hand, your right leg towards the back so that your toes are turned towards the back. You come into modified side plank. Then inhale, slowly begin to lift up. And as you exhale, gently lean to your right. Parikhasan, gate pose. Inhale, slowly rolling back to center. Again, you place your left palm down to float your right leg. And this time drawing your right knee in, you step your right foot forward to draw your left foot in so that your right shin is almost perpendicular to the mat. Drop the back knee, turn the sole out, inhale, lift the chest, crescent. And this time you hold your left wrist with your right palm and then gently draw your left hand towards the right while you keep pressing your pelvic down towards the mat. Inhale and exhale here. Inhale, you roll back to center. Exhale, you move into half split. So you straighten out your right, bending into your left, flex your foot to fold. Then slowly begin to bend into your right, placing your palms down, gently step back down dog. Feel free to bend one knee at a time to move your hips from side to side in your first downward facing dog.
On your next inhale, slowly roll forward to gently drop your knees down to come into Marcharasana. And let's repeat the same thing onto the other side. So this time, you take your left palm behind your left ear or your head. Inhale, open your elbow out. Exhaling to cross and tap. Left elbow to your right wrist. Inhale to press up. Exhaling to tap. One more time, inhale to press. Exhaling to tap. Inhale, begin to lift up and moving this time into thread the needle, you open your hand and as you exhale, you draw your left hand down, left ear towards the mat. Option to take your right hand on top or this time you can wrap it around your waist. Deep and breaths in out here. Inhale, release your right hand on top. Exhale, draw it down towards the mat. Inhale, unfold your left hand. And this time you turn your right toes towards the side to come into Parikhasan. So first moving into modified side plank. Once you're there, slowly begin to lift up, turning your left toes towards the back and exhale, you lean to your left. Inhale, slowly you roll back to center. Placing your right palm down, begin to float your left and then drawing your knee in. Gently step your left foot forward, turning your right toes in. Inhale, Chandrasan Crescent. Deep breaths here, inhale and exhale. And then slowly holding on to your right wrist, lean to your left. Inhale, slowly rolling back to centre. Exhale, we move into half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. So you straighten out your left, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, gently fold towards the left. Inhale and exhale here. On your next inhale, you begin to bend into your left, placing your palms in line with your shoulders, gently lift up and this time instead of pressing back, slowly step forward. So that it's approximately a foot distance from top of the mat. You draw your big toes together, heels slightly apart. Then inhale to lengthen your spine, half we lift. If you're unable to reach, you always have the option of placing your palms onto your shins. Exhaling to fold. One more time, inhale, half we lift. Exhaling to fold. Micro bending into your knees, chin to your chest, curling into your spine, slowly begin to roll yourself all the way up with your head coming up in the end. Inhale, hands lift over your head. Exhaling, hands at your heart center. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale, slowly circle your hands over your head. Exhale, gently fold forward and down. Inhaling half, we lift, you lengthen your spine. Exhale, we step back in plank. Drawing your feet together. Option to lower your knees down for support or you begin to bend into your knees to float them. 
everyone turning your tailbone up bending your elbows towards the back you lower down knee chest chin for ashtanga namaskarasan inhaling to cobra bhujangasan exhale adhom khoshvanasan down by facing dog Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. On your next inhale, you lift high up onto your toes to turn your gaze forward, gently bending into your knees, keep pressing actively away from the mat. Exhale, step up, jump forward, inhaling to lengthen. Exhaling to fold. Inhale in a flat back, you circle your hands over your head. exhale to fold inhaling half we lift exhale again we step back in plank option to lower down knee chest chin or this time you open your feet hip width distance apart transfer your weight forward bending your elbows towards the back you lower halfway inhaling to cobra or up dog exhaling to down dog taking deep and breaths in out inhale you lift high up onto your toes turning your gaze forward bend your knees and step up jump forward inhaling to lengthen exhale to fold One more round. Inhale, you circle your hands over your head. Exhale to fold. Inhale, half we lift. Now, option to step back lower down, or this time you bend into your knees to hop back into low plank. Inhaling to cobra or up dog. Option to go into down dog, or from here you lower down in low plank to press up and back. taking deep and breaths in out now drawing your left foot towards the center inhale right leg lifts three like a down dog gently bending into your knee heel to your hip to draw circles from there slowly you straighten out the leg exhaling knee to nose let's go one more time inhale to lift up exhale knee to nose inhale you rise up and this time begin to walk your palms towards your left foot take a deep breath in and then gently micro bending into your knee slowly start to draw your right knee in towards the chest coming into standing balancing now moving into vrukshasan you take the sole of your right foot adhina thigh of the left with your hands at the heart center option to stay here or see if you would like to take your hands over your head inhaling hands at your heart center and this time you draw your right knee in towards the chest with your palms on your waist see if you can straighten out your right leg inhale hands lift over your head and now scoop your right leg back and up palms down and then gently walk your hands forward into three like a down dog Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, step your right foot in between your palms so that your right shin is almost perpendicular to the mat. Inhale to rise up, high lunge. 
Anjaneyasan. As you exhale, taking your hands behind, start to float onto your right leg. Feel free to place your palms onto your blocks if this is difficult to manage or balance. And from here, you circle your hands to open into warrior two. You step your left foot back. Keep sinking from your right knee down, focusing on external rotation of your right leg. Inhale, reaching towards the side, flip back, reverse warrior. Drawing your left hand towards the right. Exhale, extended side angle, taking your right hand towards the left, left hand over. Leaning to your right. Inhale, you lift back to center. Exhale, turn your left toes out for Skandasan. Working on turning your right toes to face up towards the ceiling. If this is difficult to balance, feel free to sit on a block here. Two more breaths. Now, option to stay here or slowly begin to place your hip down. Right palm goes back. Inhale, wild thing. And as you exhale, you lower down to turn your body towards the back. So you're basically lunging onto your left leg. Placing your right palm in line with your right shoulder. Inhale, left hand lifts. Twisted runner's lunge. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you turn all your toes to your left to gently drop your palm back. Then inhale, slowly scoop all the way. And then you go standing on your left leg. This time you bend into your knees to draw your right knee again towards the chest to standing, balancing, cactusing your hand. Inhale, right leg goes on top, bend your left knee. Exhale, left hand crosses on top, Eagle Garudasan. Then slowly begin to unfold. From here, you take your right leg towards the back for Natrajasan, dancer's pose. Slowly begin to release, lunging into your left. Inhale, cactus your hands. Exhale, palms go down. Scooping your left leg up, elbows down, three-legged dolphin. Do not sink into your shoulders or let your elbows slide out. Take a deep breath in. And from here, press up or scoop forward and down. You take your vinyasa to meet me in down dog. Inhale here. And deep breath out. On your next inhale, begin to lift your left leg up. And then gently bending into your knee, heel to your hip, you draw circles. Inhale, you straighten out the leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Let's go one more time. Inhale to lift. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale, you lift up. And this time, slowly walk your palms towards your right foot. And then micro bending into your knees, slowly draw yourself to standing, balancing on your right leg. Moving into Vrukshasan, taking the sole of your left foot at the inner thigh of your right. Hands at your heart center or you lift them up. Then slowly placing your palms onto your waist. And from here, you draw your left knee in towards the chest and then slowly straighten out the leg. Two really strong active legs. And one, now slowly lift your hands up. As you exhale, you place your palms down and then gently walk forward by three-legged down dog. And then from there, slowly step your left foot in between your palms. Inhale, Anjaneyasan, high lunge. Deep breathing. As you exhale, you take your palms behind to begin to float. Warrior three. Focus on squaring your hip and flexing your right foot as if you're pressing the wall behind you with the sole of the foot. Then begin to bend into your left and open into warrior two. Focusing on deep in breaths and out here. Inhale, you reach towards the side to flip back, reverse warrior. Right hand goes to your left. Inhaling to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, slowly begin to lift up and this time you squat towards the right skandhasan. Focusing on deep and breaths and out here. Now option to stay here or this time you again drop your hip. Taking your left palm behind, inhale, wild thing, chamatkarasan. And then slowly begin to settle down to turn your body towards the front, lunging onto your right leg. Placing your left palm in line with your left shoulder, inhale, right hand lifts. Now take a deep breath in. As you exhale, turn your toes to your right to drop your palm back. Inhale, you slowly begin to circle. And this time you go standing on your right leg. Then micro bending into your knee, slowly draw your left knee in towards the chest. Moving into Garudasan, cactusing your hand, taking your left leg on top, right hand on top, eagle. Beautiful, then slowly unfold, taking your left leg behind for Natrajasan, dancer's pose. Slowly begin to release, lunging into your right. Inhale, hands forward and slowly cactus behind. 
from there you straighten out the legs gently bend your right knee placing your palms down and this time you take your right leg on top elbows down three two and one from there you press up to scoop forward and down inhaling to cobra up dog exhaling to down dog take a deep breath in and deep breath out on your next inhale onto your toes to turn your gaze forward bend your knees step hop jump through to come to seated Moving into Paschimottanasana, you straighten out your legs, inhale, hands lift, exhale, you fold forward and down. Deep breaths here. Inhale, slowly begin to rise up. Exhale, release. Taking the arch of your right foot next to your left knee. Inhale, left hand lifts. Exhale, option to hug your right knee from the outside or taking your tricep onto the other side for Vakrasana. Deep breathing here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, you turn your gaze forward, exhaling to release. Let's repeat the same thing onto the other side. Inhale, right hand lifts, exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, you turn your gaze forward, exhale to release. Now this time you bend into both your knees. See if you can take your right ankle above your left knee. And then, even though your knees are bent, see if you can walk yourself or your chest towards your right shin. Deep breaths here, inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, slowly release. Let's repeat the same thing onto the other side, taking your left shin in. See if you can walk your hips slightly towards your right heel so that you draw your left shin towards the chest. Beautiful. Inhale, reposition your hips and palms and gently release. Curling into your spine, you lie down for Setu Bandhas and Bridge Pose. So over here, you begin to bend into your knees, keeping hip width distance between your feet. And then taking your palms by the side, inhale, you begin to lift your pelvic up. You can always walk your hands under to interlock your fingers. So rather than contracting your glutes too strong, work on pressing the soles of your feet towards the mat and using your thighs, your quadriceps to press up. And gently release. Walking your feet towards the outer edges of the mat, you drop your knees in towards each other just to relax your lower back slightly.
and then gently hugging your knees towards the chest. You can swing from side to side, you can roll your knees from right to left, left to right, whatever feels comfortable to you. And once you're ready, gently preparing for Shavasana. Keeping comfortable distance between your legs, heels and toes turned out with your hands by the side of your body. Palms turned up towards the ceiling, digging deep and breaths and out. Letting go of any stress or tension you might be holding in certain part of the body. And allowing yourself to rest and relax completely. Feel free to stay here a little longer, or if you wish to roll out, gently begin to wiggle your toes and fingers, drawing your feet together, hands over your head, stretching out your extremities in opposite directions. Taking a deep breath in here, exhale slowly, turning onto your right side, draw yourself up onto the mat in any seated position. Keeping your eyes closed, palms at your heart center, digging deep and breaths and out. Being grateful for today's practice, inhaling palms to your forehead, exhaling bow forward. Inhale, you gently roll yourself up, taking a deep breath in. And deep breath out. And once you're ready, slowly blink your eyes open. Thank you so very much for practicing with me today. If you've enjoyed this practice, do give me a thumbs up, share your comments in the section below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.